Hi, welcome back to EdTech Insider. I'm Andrew Cohen, the founder of Brainscape, and today I'm here with Ben Caymans. He is the lead developer of the Khan Academy, and he's working on some really cool stuff over there. How are you doing, Ben? Hey, how's it going? I'm doing well. Going great. Uh, so a lot of people think of the Khan Academy, you know, when, when you talk about it in conversations, as a huge online video repository, uh, and, and that's, you know, where it's gotten a lot of its traction, but... Uh, you guys are doing some really cool stuff in, in skills mapping uh, and, and creating lots of different interactivities that help teachers uh, better understand you know, their, their classes' competencies. Can you tell me a little bit more about how that works and, and what the, the plans are for that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's actually kind of funny because Sal uh, started the Khan Academy with those interactive exercises that you're that you're talking right now. It was actually the original vision, and uh, you know, uh -huh. Sal has a background in computer science, so he started out working on making some uh, interactive test modules for his family, and and then he started recording videos to help them learn how to do it. And the videos really took off. And you know, just like you said, a lot of people really conceive of the Khan Academy as a big collection of videos right now. Right. Um, but uh, internally, organizationally, and what we're focusing on is a really um, a, an entire uh, learning experience that's based around the belief that kids should be able to move at their own pace. So if you go to the Khan Academy site right now, we've emphasized exercises in all types of new ways and basically any kid can go click on practice and see a big tree or a big map of all of the different uh, interactive exercises that they might want to learn from one plus one through calculus. It's all math-based stuff right now. And uh, it's really this entire uh, kind of ecosystem of uh, interactive exercises that lets kids move at their own pace and teachers keep an eye on the data as they go along. That, that's kind of the brief overview, but um, you know what, what you really said it, it hits at a core uh, belief at the Khan Academy right now, which is that we are not a video repository, but instead we're actually building a large tech team focused on creating a, a skill mapping for kids. Yeah, I watched Saul give the TED talk uh, several months back with with Bill Gates, and that was yep. very impressive. Uh, what uh, what it looked like, even just in your your early classroom experiences with that. Um, can we get a, a quick overview of kind of what subjects right now are covered in this skill mapping um, technology, and and what uh, age groups it's focused on? Yeah, if you go right now, you'll literally uh, you'll start at one plus one. You can jump anywhere, but you could start at one plus one, and you could work your way all the way through uh, trigonometry, pieces of geometry, and into the very beginnings of calculus. So, so mostly are, math. It's it's all math right okay. now in terms of the interactive stuff. Gotcha. Uh, the videos obviously. Uh, it, cover all types of different areas right now but we have a primary goal of covering K through 12 mathematics with all of our exercises and covering it well before we start branching out and trying to solve the uh, difficult problems of how to test other areas of knowledge you know math is obviously an easier thing to test online than language or humanities or anything like that um, so we have next steps to take you know after math we can move into physics and biology and other stuff but uh, right now it's all math in terms of the interactive stuff it's K through 12 focused and we are working working with a number of pilot programs uh, and teachers in order to fill the appropriate gaps so that we uh, really have adequate coverage in all of K-12. through And can I jump in at, at any level or must I start at the very beginning and sort of unlock the subsequent uh, exercises? Yeah, you can jump in at any any level. Uh, this is a big debate of ours, but we believe you know uh, we want this to be a resource that anybody can start in at any point in time. You you can have a nice ex the nicest experience by far is if you uh, you know are a student, say you're in fifth grade, and you literally jump in at one plus one and you start working your way up, um, and you'll move really quickly at the start. But then you might hit uh, we see it all the time in our fifth grade classes. You might hit a barrier with negative numbers or fractions or something else, and the teacher may have already moved past that and assumed that you were good at it. But we'll see kids that need to spend more and more time at uh, concepts that are you know below grade level and then once they cross those hurdles they move on so it is tailored to the t student who will start at the top and work their way down but uh, for people who just want to go pick up certain skills or maybe you want to study for an AP test or something like that you can go pick out your uh, your exercises and and test out specific bits of knowledge and how does the teacher administer this give me a better idea of sort of the the educator dashboard experience yeah that's a good question well first of all um, there's no, uh, there's no really credentialing required to sign up as a teacher at Khan Academy. In fact, we call it a coach. Uh, so we are attempting to blur the lines a little bit between student and teacher. And uh, you know, if students want to coach other students and things like that, we are, uh, we highly encourage that. And we're building functionality into the system to kind of help that. So uh, we use the word coach instead of teacher. But teachers right now, they'll go into our site. All of the students 
basically uh, register them as their coach, which gives the teacher full access to all of the students' data, what they're working on, where they're spending their time. And what we see right now in our classrooms is uh, a replacement of significant portions of the math curriculum in which all students will come sit down in front of their computers and start working at their own pace on entirely different subjects. And the teacher will have access to this uh, rich dashboard which just shows them a big grid of all their students and all the different concepts which the students could be working on. And then they'll be watching that dashboard and something might ping red. You know, and that student's struggling, a specific student is struggling in I don't know, subtracting uh, negative numbers which is a common thing to struggle in, right? And then so the teacher can click on that student and that area. They'll see all the past problems the student has worked on, how long it took them to do those problems, which problems they got wrong, and then they can go over to that student and uh, address that specific issue. So it really gives the teacher the tools necessary to turn them into a coach that can... Uh, intervene when necessary in order to in order to fix different problems uh, in, in a student's understanding um, which is which has been a pretty powerful thing it's also a really scary thing uh, <laughs> that the, the, the teachers that we have are phenomenal uh, they're fearless you have to be fearless because one kid is going to raise his hand and ask about uh, negative numbers and another kid's going to raise her hand and have moved on to trigonometry because you know she's been tutored her whole life and is ahead and you know wants to understand the Pythagorean theorem or something and and uh, we've seen it a number of times in our classrooms where a teacher will sit down next to a kid and say, you know, I don't understand this either. Uh, let's <laughs> learn it. Let's learn it together. You know, and, and that's an awesome coaching relationship. That's some of the coolest stuff we've seen come out, so come out of the Khan Academy. But uh, you really have to be willing to embrace that in order to give up the whole I just prepare for one lesson plan a day type safety that uh, that, that goes on right now. Yeah, it'll be really interesting to see uh, how the masses of teachers start adopting this. And I yeah. know uh, kind of the the education thought leaders right now are, are moving toward changing the, the word teacher to, I like your word coach, I, I, we used to always say facilitator right, uh, yeah, up yeah, in, yeah. at my graduate work up at Columbia in education, but uh, no, that, that certainly does change the dynamic and, and gives both the, the gifted student um, more of an opportunity to, to move forward kind of beyond the confines and, and uh, does allow for a lot more than one-on-one -on -one experience, which is great. Yeah, yeah, it is really nice. And what you see is it actually m mandates a lot more um, collaboration in the classroom because there are going to be five or six pockets of students in any classroom that are struggling or working with something that's on the boundaries of their knowledge. And there's only one teacher, and the teacher, you know, and those things might be different concepts. So what happens is you'll see students start grouping together that are at similar levels. They'll be teaching each other, uh, you know, because the teacher can't go around and teach all these different concepts at the same time. So you do see uh, those lines get blurred, and you know, students helping other students and things like that, which is uh, which is really cool. Yeah, they, they say the best way to fully learn something to, is to have taught it yourself. So if you could start yes. engaging those students at the micro teaching level, you're you're kind of hitting hitting all the nodes and really you know eliminating all the inefficiencies and and non personalization of education, which is key. Yeah, and yeah, and what you just said really gets at the core of our, of long term plans for Khan Academy to you know build more and more features and encouragement into the system that uh, that tends students towards teaching other students to prove their own mastery. Um, it's a difficult thing to do, obviously, uh, right. but we're th we're thinking hard about it. And I, I might have missed this. Um, are the remedial videos that Saul Khan records? tied to the lessons so that if I'm having trouble uh, with one of the exercises, I could watch one of those videos and, and teach myself before having to resort to the teacher? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and we've spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to encourage that type of behavior. And we, we've seen interesting dynamics. First of all, whenever you're looking at any individual problem at Khan Academy, you have two ways to help yourself if you're struggling. You can click hint a number of times and uh, see uh, a step-by-step -step breakdown of, uh, of that exact problem being solved along with explanations of why things are happening. So every single problem is accompanied with uh, you know, a complete hint system that will show you how to solve the problem. And then you could apply that generic algorithm to other problems if you wanted to. Um, so that, that's one thing that students do a lot in order to learn how to solve problems. And the other thing is we do show you all the related videos for any individual, you know, any individual concept you might be working on. Um, we, we learned a lot quickly in our first classroom when we uh, walked in and saw students only using hints and you know not watching any videos and uh, we're, we still uh, we still d 
are working to design the system to encourage video watching, but you see different dynamics show up in different classrooms. Sometimes in a classroom it might be seen as a bad thing to watch a video among all of your peers, and so nobody wants to open up the video on their computer screen. So we tweak certain things, like we started giving out badges for videos, and we started encouraging uh, them with you know our point system and other game mechanics, and we saw a slight improvement, and now we're building more, uh, we're actually working on more metrics right now to try to determine exactly how uh, effective our video watching encouragement is for anybody who's struggling. But yeah, that's that's the long answer. Yes, you can watch videos. 